Hey guys, this is Ben Buckaban, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Last episode, uh, Asterion bit us, um, because he's a vampire, and we fought some goblins. Uh, and then I didn't end up freeing, uh, Lizelle, because I couldn't figure out how to, so, uh, that's a shame. <laughs> oh, you weren't here earlier. Let's talk to discussion? this person. Aridin's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. Uh, who's Halsin? The druid in charge of this grove. At least, he was. Guess if he didn't come back with Aridin, that might not be the case. And let's see if we can find our little friend. Oh, I think these are quest markers, so let's head this way. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Uh, I'm looking for a healer. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. Ah, uh, so you're really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. Uh, you said, you just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. As I said, it's a drastic measure, but the survival of the grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Alright guys, I just uh, sold a bunch of stuff. Uh, I gave Asterion some new armor because he needed new armor. Oh, the waiting's getting to me. I'm swear that Oxmix at least is make fun for it. The ox makes you uneasy. Try to discern why. Oh, crap. Dang it, Asterion. Okay, oh no. Yeah, I can't figure out why. Oh well. Okay, there's no way I'm gonna have time to talk to every single person here. Okay, lots of people here. It is forbidden. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn! And you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back! Ugh! Let me through, Ragrasham, or I'll rip your throat out! We need to get Arabella out, now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the Nine Hells than trust that snake! Ugh. I saw what happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Sounds like she made the fatal mistake of getting caught. We shouldn't get involved. Uh, she's just a child. The druids over are overreacting. I'll talk to them. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting! <sighs> Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You, step back. We'll not tolerate drow in here. If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Step back! Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Oh, sweet. Oh wait, Kaga is over here it looks like. Yo, what the heck is that? Snake? Please! I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a- A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. 
and I will cast out every stranger. One of your guards said outside said you wanted to see me. Here I am. We will speak soon enough. First, judgment must be passed. The parasite eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely do it. Uh, Paladin Persuasion. I am versed in the ways of justice. Make your case and I will pass judgment. Let's add this guidance and... Okay. Oh, yes. We... We got it. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. We got it. Very well. I'll defer to your ruling. My circle has offered grace to these outsiders. We gave them shelter from storm. We nourished their bellies. In return, these devils lured in a horde of goblins. And their spawn stole the one relic that might keep us safe. We've taken back our relic. But I will keep the fiend caged till our protection right is complete. Uh, what do you have to say for yourself, child? I... I was scared. They said when the rite was over, we'd have to leave. But there's goblins out there and worse. And it's nice here. So I... I took the idol. I thought maybe then we could stay. Please let me go. I'll be good, I swear. Well, Paladin, what say you? Uh, return the girl to her family. She's made amends and you have your relic. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Tila, to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin... Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I hate wolves. I didn't realize you were frightened of wolves, children. Huh? Wait, what is it? I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Uh, how badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Uh, tell me about your fear of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. Uh, everyone's got their own fears, they won't judge yours. Really? Some might think it makes me a liability. Maybe that's what I like about you. You're different. What do you have to say, Sterian? Need something? Tell me about your history. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now... I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. So, how does someone become a vampire exactly? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. In theory? People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. 
So about you biting me. I've already apologized. What more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. Oh heck no. <laughs> I just need to know how we'll feed you in the future. No innocence. You have my word. Only villains that we need to kill anyway. After all, you know what I am now. I can fight with all my weapons. Teeth included. And if I happen to drain the occasional bandit during a fight, what's the harm? They're just as dead. You know what? You got a good point. Uh, uh, sounds good. Glad we could agree. As am I. I'm starting to feel a little peckish already. Oh, Kaga, we need to talk to you. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Uh, only a monster would threaten a child. Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Uh, Zevlor believes p his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Ah, uh, that seems I'd best speak to Zevlor. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Okay, so it looks like she doesn't like the tieflings, so... Oh, Nettle! I needed to talk to you. I see you. Just give me a moment. Yeah, you need to help us. Wait patiently. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? Healing. Looks like it came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Uh, more than tired. Something crawled into my eye. Crawled in? Some sort of bug? Or... Wait, did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth, and tentacles? You know of them? Can you help me? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Alright, I will follow you. Head on in. Alright, so let's head in this uh, room. Oh, what is this? There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Uh, he and I have the same kind of parasite? Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. By the way, I think Shadowheart has a crush on me. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about, because you can actually, like, date, uh, you can, you can actually date all your party members. I'm thinking about having my character date Shadowheart. 
or it'll be the Guardian, but so far it's kind of leaning towards Shadowheart, unless, like, unless, like, when the go- Guardian appears, I might change my mind, but we'll see. What's that plant? Will it help? She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Uh, I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a Mind Flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A Mind Flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. All right, hand it over. Swear it. I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flares out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. You must have learned something from studying them. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. You said you were tracking other victims. Did they change? Hard to say. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected. Folks like you have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. What do you want me to do? The thing is, I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Wait, the goblins are working with mind flayers? You sure he can cure me? I can't make any promises. This is like nothing we've seen before. But I know this for sure. Master Halson is the only one close to understanding these things. He's your best bet to survive. Otherwise, that vial's your only option. All right, I'll find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, Remember the vial. Remember your oath. Take it one step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why then? Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Yeah, I hope so too. Rough than Ceramorphosis, nonetheless. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Uh, no more light-figured antics, right, Arabella? Yeah. I mean... Thank you. For helping me. Okay, let's head over here and... Go talk to Seems Zevlor. Like talk. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? 
Uh, can you delay the ritual? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. Uh, then why don't why don't you get rid of her? A low thought. But I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Corga, within striking distance. I can't manage that. But they've already let you pass once. Uh, what's it worth to you? To get these people to Baldur's Gate. Everything. I'm still hoping Corga can be swayed from this madness. But if not, leaders need to make tough decisions. We do what we must. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Sneak attack, melee. The Outlander has betrayed us. I should have known. Druids, we cannot compromise any longer. Oh, this is, this is gonna be a horrible idea, but <laughs> let's let's do this. Piercing strike. Okay, let's go. Offhand melee. Okay, we missed that. Oh. Oh no. Ooh, inflict wounds. Okay, let's do it. Oh, you missed. How much else do you have? 22. Okay, I think we I think we got this. All right, let's just Oh, you missed crap. Unfortunately, Ristel can't do anything. Asterion can. All right, let's go. Critical hit. Kaga is dead. Wonderful. Uh, he can't really do anything, but he can run up here. You're better off just shooting this dude with a crossbow. We're gonna run up. Healing word, we need that on Asterion. We need to heal him. Oh crap. Ugh, that's not good. Okay, we got him. We're gonna need to do this healing radiance. Okay, wait, can we use a sneak attack? We can. Okay, Loic's dead. Okay, wonderful. Okay, shield of faith, use on her. And then I want you to just do attack the attack. Okay. Wow, this is actually a lot easier than uh, when I was raiding the temple or something. This is actually a lot easier than that. Searing Smite. Can we do a sneak attack? We can! Wow. Just like that. Oh wow, no one else is attacking me. Wow, this actually... Uh, this actually went significantly easier than I thought it did. Okay, with Zevler gone, there will be no reward for killing Kaga. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, crap. I didn't do it quick enough. I think that's what happened. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.